In the English dictionary, the word now refers to the present time or moment. Now is the fleeting moment that comes and goes in an instant, because what just happened slides into the past, and what is yet to come is the future. Now is the present experience you are having in your life. It can be challenging to fully appreciate the power of the now. This very moment we are living. We often dwell on the past or eagerly anticipate the future, but fail to focus on the gift of the present. Have you ever contemplated the potential of the now, the wonders we could create, and the ways our minds could be used? With this perspective in mind, today I want to discuss understanding and harnessing the power of living fully in the present moment. When we embrace the now, we can unlock peace, joy, and manifest our desires. Let me share some key principles that have helped me treasure the now. In today's video, I want to talk about something that has truly changed my life, the power of living in the now. More specifically, I'll be sharing teachings from one of my favorite thinkers, Eckhart Tolle, and his seminal work, The Power of Now. Eckhart has so many profound insights about how most of us spend way too much time lost in thoughts of the past or future. We miss out on the magic and wonder of the present moment. I definitely used to struggle with this, my mind would be racing and I'd stress about past regrets or future plans. But taking Eckhart's wisdom to heart has helped me become much more mindful, peaceful and engaged in the now. So what does Eckhart recommend when it comes to anchoring ourselves in the present? Let's get into it. One of Eckhart Tolle's core teachings is that we need to be aware when our minds pull us out of the present moment. Our thoughts often reflexively drift to reminiscing about the past or worrying about the future. Eckhart says to gently notice when this happens and redirect your attention to the here and now without berating yourself. For example, you may catch your mind wandering to a conversation you had yesterday. Just acknowledge that your mind went into the past and calmly bring yourself back to the sensations, sights, and sounds happening in this moment. Eckhart recommends purposely focusing on your senses as a way to anchor yourself in the now. What can you see right in front of you? What sounds can you hear nearby? What are you physically feeling? Tune into your body and physical surroundings. This grounds you firmly in the present. For instance, you could take in the sight of trees swaying, listen to birds chirping, and feel the texture of your clothes on your skin. Pay attention to these sensations fully, without analyzing or judging. Eckhart also talks about participating completely in whatever activity you are doing in the moment. Whether you are eating a meal, taking a walk, or working on a project, put your full focus and attention on it. Don't multitask or only partially engage. Immerse yourself fully. For example, while eating dinner, don't read or watch TV, just eat. Focus entirely on the flavors and textures. Engage all your senses. This full participation keeps you anchored in the now. Eckhart Tolle also talks extensively about fear and how it hinders our ability to live fully in the present moment. He says fear often arises from identifying too closely with our ego or sense of self. Fear makes us anxiously project into the future and resist what is happening right now. Common fears according to Eckhart are fear of failure, fear of loss, fear of death, etc. But he proposes that behind these surface fears is an underlying fear of losing our ego identity. Eckhart suggests the solution is to realize that who we are is much greater than this false ego or personality. When we connect to our deeper essence of being, we realize there is nothing to fear. This presence within us remains unchanged, whatever happens externally. Practically, he recommends staying focused on the present, rather than getting lost in fearful thoughts about what might happen. He also suggests facing your fears compassionately but courageously. Don't let fears limit you. According to Eckhart, Acknowledging but not over-identifying with fear helps dissolve its control over you. 
we realize we are more than any passing emotion. We cannot make fear disappear, but we can deny it power over our lives. One of Eckhart Tolle core teachings is that we need to be aware when our minds pull us out of the present moment. Our thoughts often reflexively drift to reminiscing about the past or worrying about the future. Eckhart says to gently notice when this happens and redirect your attention to the here and now without berating yourself. For example, you may catch your mind wandering to a conversation you had yesterday. Just acknowledge that your mind went into the past and calmly bring yourself back to the sensations, sights, and sounds happening in this moment. Eckhart recommends purposefully focusing on your senses as a way to anchor yourself in the now. What can you see right in front of you? What sounds can you hear nearby? What are you physically feeling? Tune into your body and physical surroundings. This grounds you firmly in the present. For instance, you could take in the sight of trees swaying, listen to birds chirping, and feel the texture of your clothes on your skin. Pay attention to these sensations fully, without analyzing or judging. Eckhart also talks about participating completely in whatever activity you are doing in the moment. Whether you are eating a meal, taking a walk, or working on a project, put your full focus and attention on it. Don't multitask or only partially engage. Immerse yourself fully. For example, while eating dinner, don't read or watch TV, you just eat. Focus entirely on the flavors and textures. Engage all your senses. This full participation keeps you anchored in the now. Eckhart Tolle teaches that cultivating presence takes ongoing practice, but is extremely rewarding. When we develop presence, we can find peace and joy in the now, rather than getting caught up in mental chatter about the past and future. Presence is that alert, aware state of being fully conscious in the present moment. It's different than just thinking about the now. Presence means consciously embodying this moment with all your senses, not just intellectually understanding it. For instance, you can think about how the sun feels warm on your skin. But presence means feeling the warmth permeate your whole body in this moment. Thoughts about the sensation are different from presence with the sensation. Developing presence requires training your mind to remain focused on the now. When your attention wanders, you keep gently bringing it back. With time, you get better at anchoring yourself in the present. The more you practice presence, the easier it becomes to access this state of awake awareness. You realize you have the power to cease mental time travel and instead ground yourself in the richness of now. The reward is serenity, insight, and a fuller experience of each moment as it unfolds. You gain perspective that most of your thoughts are not that important, freeing you from their grip. In this way, cultivating presence delivers profound peace and joy. You become immersed in the flow of life, rather than analyzing the past or predicting the future. When it comes to achieving manifestation, he suggests taking action in the present moment while also trusting that the future will unfold as it's meant to. Heckart says obsessively worrying about the future can actually sabotage us from accomplishing our goals. The now is where we have the power to create. For example, if you want to start a new business, Eckhart suggests making concrete plans and taking steps to serve that goal now. But don't attach yourself to exactly how it must unfold or uncertain milestones must be hit. Stay open and flexible while still taking committed action. Trust that if this business endeavor is meant to be, it will manifest in the right way at the right time. Don't force a rigid timeline. Eckhart proposes that anxiously fixating on the future tends to backfire. It takes us out of the present moment where our creative power lies. It also narrows our vision to one scenario versus allowing possibilities to emerge. Instead, Eckhart recommends bringing your full presence and passion to the next right step before you. Maintain trust in the future. Avoid projections and fears. 
This allows you to achieve goals from a state of openness and flow. Rather than forcing a rigid agenda, you act decisively while leaving room for things to organically evolve. The more attention you give, the clearer and more powerful the feeling will become. If you have a strong visual imagination, you may get an image of your body becoming luminous. However, pay more attention to the feeling than any image that may arise. The image doesn't matter how beautiful or powerful it may be, it's already defined in form, leaving less room for penetration. The deeper you go into this moment, the more alive and vibrant you will feel. You will feel as if every cell is becoming more alive. If you have a strong visual imagination, you may get an image of your body becoming luminous. However, pay more attention to the feeling than any image that may arise. The image doesn't matter how beautiful or powerful it may be, it's already defined in form, leaving less room for penetration. The deeper you go into this moment, the more alive and vibrant you will feel. You will feel as if every cell is becoming more alive. So this is the simple technique we should use in our daily life, which will boost our manifestation. As we've explored today, Eckhart Tolle teachings are more about finding inner peace, living in the now, and not attaching yourself to desired outcomes. Presence, mindfulness, appreciating this moment, these are the real secrets to a fulfilling life according to principles from Eckhart and the power of now. While financial success may come, it should not be the primary focus. Embracing the now, conquering fear, and understanding your deeper essence, that's where true transformation lies. Living fully in each moment allows creativity, wisdom and purpose to shine through you. Trust in the future, but ground yourself in the only thing that is real, this present moment. I hope these concepts from Eckhart Tolle have given you a new perspective on tapping into the power of now. Let me know in the comments what resonated most. Subscribe for more content about mindfulness and presence. Manifest inner riches and external prosperity may follow, but never sacrifice the now for dreams of the future. The now is where peace and purpose reside. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.